Alright, goddamn. My my fucking brain is exhausted. The election's coming up. Uh I'm tired of doing these videos. Um so Diddy, aka Puffy Juice, aka Biggie Sidekick, aka he wanted to take fabulous shopping. Diddy has come out and he did this interview with um with Charlemagne where he says he's gonna launch his own uh we need to launch a black political party, which is obvious. We needed to do that long, 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 long time ago. Um, and he launched something called Our Black Party, and I put the, the link in the bio. Um, and the people who are, like, trying to attach him to Ice Cube, y'all are ignorant. Uh, somebody trying to speak to the president about issues for their community who never met Trump before in Ice Cube who basically embarrassed the Democrats for how fraudulent they are. You can't compare Cube to, to Diddy. The only thing they got in common is they both black celebs. Um, this looks like a ploy from the Democrats because Cube, for the smart black people who know better, the Democrats look really bad with that Ice Cube shit. So now they're rolling out the heavy hitters like J-Lo and Diddy to beg for the vote. So this came out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, this came out of nowhere, and he's on this uh, thing with Charlemagne talking about, oh, we got to do better, and Trump is evil, and listen to this. Need to be banished. White men like Trump need to be banished. That way of thinking is real dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, this man literally um, threatened the lives of us and our families about going to vote. Mm -hmm. Stand back and stand by. Stand back and stand by. Yeah. We're in a war. We're not taking this like it's a war. We're taking this like, oh, we're in a presidential election. Mm -hmm. No, we're in a war of love versus hate. The number one priority is to get Trump out of office. The tribe of people that have the responsibility and really should be scared to death of this man is white people. All right, so that was uh, some of the uh, ignorant shit from Puffy that doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, first of all, that that whole narrative, you're, uh, the number one, black people, your number one priority shouldn't be getting Trump out. That's For us personally, that's not the number one priority. Um, but we were the only group that just pouted the whole time and never fucking did anything for ourselves and just bitched and complained because he was racist. Like, we haven't seen the racist president before. So to me, this looks like some shit that was came on to, to confuse young gullible black voters because you already got a third party guy running. His name is Kanye West. <laughs> OK, then you got the, the, the you could go that route or you could go the typical route where you do the same old shit and vote Democrats and take the white liberal route or you could, you know, not vote at all. Uh, but yeah, I find it very funny that two days after Ice Cube went viral, for doing something that's actually smart that was kind of causing some kind of uh drift between blacks and the democrats because yeah a lot of black people are no are starting to wake up to the democrats and they bullshit and puffy's i mean cube doing what he did that was a problem and then two days later here you come talking about some black black political party three days three weeks before the election nigga you know and then he doesn't and let me be wrong, Diddy might sound dumb and, 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 you know, he doesn't break down points well, but he does have a degree from Howard for whatever it's worth. This, he is an uneducated guy. Now, I'm looking at this website, and they got uh, values, agenda. You have to sign up and join. Uh, the first thing, the top of the list, defunding the police is the number one. They should have it to where you should vote for what, you know, our issue should be. The number one issue they got up here is defunding the police. This sounds like some Black Lives Matter shit. Uh, second one, guaranteed income for all. What happened to working? Uh, the, the third one, decriminalize poverty. The fourth one, address racism in healthcare. The fifth is grow black business. The four, the sixth is the one thousand. Then you got statewide uh, equal uh, officers, high quality and affordable education, legalize marijuana build uh in generational wealth this is all the stuff that sounds good but there's no they don't have any plans on here to how we actually get those they're just telling you the things that sound good you know and it goes on and says black people have to fight to write their own politics black people have to write to be fair and a criminal judge the things that we already know 
um, they're not really saying much of nothing on this damn site. That and just like he wasn't saying a whole bunch of nothing with Charlemagne, and people be like, well, "Why are you beating Charlemagne?" Because Charlemagne isn't as dumb as he seems, and he sat right across from Puffy, and he should have g-checked his ass and said, "Hold up, bro, this is kind of, huh?" Instead, you went along with it like the puppet that you are because you're you're working for him. I think this is on that stupid shit they got on Revolt. Uh, that that show, they they got something state of the culture, and then they got some other dumb shit. That, that channel is white liberal the fuck out you know comcast and all that shit but yeah this whole thing just is like i say you you can't even puffy hasn't even managed a rapper successfully in the last 10 years and now you expect us to trust you to lead a black democrat a black party uh to the to the promised land to, to, for black folks it's just like no bro something is just off about this something is off about it it doesn't sit right with me um Nah, you can't compare this to Q trying to talk about a black agenda to the actual president. It's, yeah, the Democrats said, no, get back to us if we win. That ain't good enough. We don't know if you're going to win. And then two days after that, and you get a little bit of uh, ruckus going on, here comes Puffy. Oh, no, we got our own party. Yeah. <laughs> and if you look on this website, it's like y'all are saying a whole lot of nothing on here. I, you know, and then he's saying we got experts. Okay, leadership. Um, Candace Hollinsworth, national co-chair, mayor of Hatt Hattiesville, Maryland. Do y'all know her? They got her on here. Dr. Wes Bellamy from Charlottesville, West Virg uh, Charlottesville, Virginia. These are the experts that Puffy went and got to run this party. Stephanie Morales from, Pen from Virginia, another one from Virginia. Uh, Lee Webb. Random ass people. I mean, I'm not the most, you know, educated person as far as this world of politics, but I've never heard of any of these fucking people before. Rashad Lambert. This is just some random put together shit. I'm sorry, bro. They literally came up with this website like yesterday. <laughs> literally. Literally. And it says paid for, for or by our black party dot com. Not authorized by any candidate or candidates committee. Power in the black agenda. Nah, it just looks like, and then they have, of course, they have a, you can contribute and donate money. This looks like some Black Lives Matter shit, bro. They just changed the fucking name. I'm not buying it. Let me know what y'all think. This shit just seems real fishy from the jump, and Diddy is not someone to be trusted. Y'all was calling Cube a fucking sellout. What the fuck is this? Tell me what is this. Because you can't dig up pictures on Google of Cube and, and Trump from back in the day, jigabooed up dancing with each other you can find some some photoshop stuff but you ain't finding you can find real life pictures of puffy and diddy i mean uh puffy and trump jigabooed up together it's like we said how many you had over 300 hip-hop verse uh references to trump's music from the 90s to the 2000s he didn't do anything directly to piss off these rap artists it just became the unwritten rule in black culture you don't stand next to trump because if you do you sold out you go back, just look on Google, and it's Google Hip Hop and Trump, and you'll see everybody from Kanye to Snoop, uh, hell, Michael Strahan, you'll see a little bit of everybody on this bitch that I met Trump before. Ja Rule, you know, Rev Run. I, I mean, this is, <laughs> it, it, it's the truth, man. So, I, I don't, nah, man, I don't, I don't see it. This shit looks unorganized. It looks like it was thrown together, because it probably was thrown together. I put the link in the description so you can look at this website and tell me how thorough you think this shit is and if you're going to make them give them a donation. 